about it. So, See, Ms. No. Dover, just talk a bit about <laughs> where your family came yeah. from, a bit about what some of the memories are, what makes Marin City special. Okay. Some, some things that we can give people some, some flavor about Marin City. Okay, when I come to Marin City, me and my husband, uh, we were from Tennessee. We were from Elizabeth and Tennessee. And while I was out here, my husband uh, got a job working for the Southern Pacific Railroad Company. So that's the reason I come out here with two children. And that was in 1956. And as time went by, I have stayed here, still here, and all of that. But what I'm so proud of, I was going to say by Keith about talking about his father, uh, uh, Reverend, uh, his, his father. And I would talk about how he used to be in his truck, Mr. Howard. He would be on his truck. No matter where Mr. Howard would be at, if he saw you, he would stop and say, can I have prayer with you? And this is what I like about here at Marin City. Now you all can talk all you want to about Marin City. We are still a family. We are still a Christian family, and when any of our children or anybody gets in trouble, we're here to take care of our children, whether we like it or not. But Marin City has always been a religious person, and this is one thing I like about Marin City. We did not look at what color you, what color you were, what kind of much money you had in your pocket, but I'm very proud to be here. And like I said, I have, when I moved in the high-rising building, I was the first person to move at 89 Cold Drive. It was in 1960s when I come in with, and my youngest, my younger boy, uh, Robert, he was only 11 months old when I moved here. But I am so proud, and all of these years I have been around a lot of people, everybody, and, uh, and stuff like that. But I want to thank God for thinking that we, I am still able to live here in Marin City and, and, and know these people, know these children, know these grandchildren, and things like that. But I am very proud, and like I said, I've been told the housing authority, I am not going nowhere. Thank you.